No, he talked about his wife's circulation more than anything else. And about the case, all he wanted was a description of the jewelry? That's all he wanted. So how long did he stay? Mm, about 15 minutes. So you think we're all right? As far as the case goes, we're rock solid. I'm sure he has no suspicions. It's just that there's something about him. I can't put my finger on it. I'm not always sure what he's thinking. Does he want to see you again? He didn't say. I think he kind of likes me. Secretary, ma'am, she told me. I, I, she did, I see. I hope you don't mind. No, well, why do you think I'd mind? Oh, I thought you sounded irritated. No, no, I don't mind talking to you. I, I do mind being taken by surprise. Yes, that annoys me. You should ask first. Now, how can I help you? Well, there, you see, I do like that about you. You're level-headed. I'm sorry, I don't follow you. Well, other people, when I show up unexpectedly, right away, all excited. Oh, boy, good news. You caught the killer. The case is solved. You understand. It's not so easy. I'm not naive, Lieutenant. I do appreciate how difficult your job is. Well, that's what I mean. I wish there were more people like you. I wouldn't feel such pressure. I wouldn't feel under such stress. I have to buy some shoes, Lieutenant. Do you mind if we walk and talk? No, not at all. What is it that you want? Well, I'm making out my report. And there's one point in your story I'd like to clear up. Uh, you said that Mr. Franco told you that he had to leave your party to go play poker, right? Right. Now, we checked with the men that he usually plays poker with, and they play every Monday and Friday night, so there was no game last night. So I thought, well, maybe you were confused about what he said, you know, the shock and all, and... Uh, Maybe you wanted to change your story on that point. Maybe it was some other kind of game. Well, uh, you know, maybe it was. Uh, I mean, yes, maybe he said he was going to play gin. I see. Well, there was a gin game last night among his friends, but he wasn't there. Well, yeah, I'm not sure what he said. I see. All right. But you were disappointed when he told you you had to leave the party. Yes, I was very disappointed. I wanted him there very much. You wanted him there very much, and he explained why you had to leave, but you're not sure what he said. You can see, ma'am, where... Uh... <laughs> it's just not going to look too good on the report. You know what else doesn't look very good? What? Your tie. It doesn't look good. What's the matter with it? Oh, it's green. <laughs> Go with brown. No, I'm going to buy you a new tie. Now, this tie is for older men. You're not old. Why do you want to appear old? What I should do is buy you a whole new suit. But I don't know you well enough for that. Maybe someday. Already you look better. Now, let's find you a proper tie. Uh, you know, ma'am, mm -hmm. maybe he did say poker. Yes, maybe he did. Here. <laughs> I think this one has some life. You know, they're kind of tough down at headquarters about accepting bribes. Well, I understand, but this is strictly entrepreneurial. Right. So, uh, what I'll do, ma'am, is uh, I'm going to put down poker. Hmm. I'm taking this tie. Put down whatever you think best. Anything else? Uh, no, not at all. Uh, could I have my old tie back? Sorry. <laughs> okay, so uh, I want to 
want to thank you for the gift. And, uh, I want to thank you for your help. Don't mention it. I enjoy doing it. Uh, I would never do that to you. What? I would never lie to you. If I wasn't going to play poker, I would tell you the truth. Just one more thing.